guys with this data set we're going to do mall customer segmentation okay so import these necessary libraries file one equals read this with pandas mall data equals file one mall data dot head sms pair plot you see the mall data now look at age and spending score also look at annual income and spending score you guys see the relationship that's why we're going to do both of them okay the first data which would be mall but drop the three columns we're not going to use for this k means model not necessarily the next now look at the stronger relationship you see you're going to see an even stronger relationship with the other standard scalar fit the data now you see the range between 1 and 11 that's because we're really going to do between 2 and 10 clusters no matter what and clusters equals the range basically k and it clustering fit data find out from find out clustering inertia okay range same one between 111 which is really 2 and 10 clusters keep that in mind find out and you can name and find out whatever you want you just got to change everything else and with correlation but okay name the title whatever you want i named it that just to give you a hint k equals five not three why look you see more of an elbow model equals k means plus plus n clusters equals five random state equals zero model dot fit predict data see the model clusters now uh we're gonna do this always do this range when using matplotlib and cnn sns scatter plot hit the two data frames you can name the centroid whatever you want uh, I mean, you got to label it centroid, obviously, but you can change whatever color you want. And then hue equals the first cluster, which we named cluster. Okay. Name it whatever you want. And you see the bullseye? Both of those. New data equals, read the data frame again. Now, look at this. We're going to drop these three and then new data look at the stronger correlation actually in my mind okay scalar dot fit okay same range same as we did before okay now plot same as you did before you would think it's two but it's really four look or you might think it's three but look four you see more of an elbow right really uh two and four look but look closer at four the end clusters is four random state zero again predict new data and here we go look at the centroids it hit the clusters now guys remember you can do this any way you want now um hit don't forget to hit like and subscribe now uh usually i deploy in the cloud with SageMaker or deploy models on gcp and some or make convolutional neural networks but i did have one uh one video on deploying one on SageMaker, a clustering model if you guys want i can deploy the same data set given we already know what k equals and they have a k means we can deploy this next time on uh, AWS with SageMaker. Just hit like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments. I might go off and do it on my own. But let me know if that's the next video you want. Deploy a K-means, but with this data set. Usually I don't get into machine learning. And uh, usually I deploy them, but... I wanted to get more in depth and get more data analysis rather than focus on deploying models this time. Thank you guys.